Hello once again everyone and welcome to Cruznik Sanctuary. I'm your host Cruznik X alongside me the beautiful Arya Stormborn. Will you shut up about that? Anyways, we are back in Final Fantasy XIV for patch 5.4, Futures Rewritten. In the last episode, we discussed uh, some goings on in Garlemald, as well as some stuff going on here with Alice, who's look she's looking into a way to um to save the tempered. Um a bit of backstory, uh a bit of uh trivia here. Those who are tempered don't usually come back from tempering. Once they're tempered, they're pretty much, you know, De it, it, it pretty much they've been killed if they ever get tempered. Uh, okay, so 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 for those of you who haven't watched my previous Final Fantasy fourteen episodes, tempering is when a primal pretty much exerts his will on a person. He he basically makes them a mindless thrall, almost. They're loyal only to the primal, so... Yeah, I guess you could say that. They're basically brainwashed. But anyway, Alice is looking into fixing that, so hopefully things are looking steadily brighter. But, let's get right down to it and talk to Grahatia and complete the next quest in the storyline, The Wisdom of Alag. This appears to be the Helix, which means we stand in the Alpha Quadrant. To the east lies the Beta Quadrant, and... Yes, I believe I have my bearings. Though this is my first time on Azizla, I do have some familiarity with the place thanks to the records in the Crystal Tower. Unless I am mistaken, this path leads to an etherite, beyond which there will be an information terminal. I suggest we begin our search there. Right. Let's ride. We haven't been to this terminal in quite a while. And here is the terminal. A moment while I search the archives for references to, temper to tempering. Ah, there we are. Iconic corruption. An overview. That sounds promising. Indeed. Let us see what this report has to say. Hmm? Confound it. The contents appear to have been deleted. What? No! Isn't that something you can do? Not from here, I'm afraid. But it may be that another copy of the report exists elsewhere. The question is, where to look? It says here the report was written by someone named Owen. Is it likely that he kept a copy? I would say... Oh, did I use the wrong voice again? Yep. <laughs> it says here the report was written by someone named Owen. Is it likely that he kept a copy? I would say it is a distinct possibility. Assuming he was a researcher here, he will have had quarters on the Habitsphere. We can ascertain the details that Habitsphere control. Hmm. 
Let us return to the Bonanza and avail ourselves of the mana cutters. We will need them to reach our destination. I forgot. You already have a suitable means of transport, don't you? No need to waste time accompanying us back to the ship, then. We'll see you at the Habisphere. All right. Hop in, babe. Did you? Oh, you're in here. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, eh, where did she disappear to? That must be it off in the distance. <clears throat> yep, this is definitely the place. Oh wait, that's the place? It looks more like an arena than a... Oh. Oh, we're landing over here. Ah, look at the mob. Alright, let's find old Graha in here. There he is. Or not. There. If the late Owen did indeed have a chamber here, this node will be able to tell us its number. There. From what I recall of the layout, it should be somewhere in the vicinity of... Hmm. Warning. An evacuation order is presently in effect. Entry to the Havisphere is not permitted at this time. Foiled again. In all likelihood, the order would have been imposed during the Fourth Umbro Calamity, and I doubt it will be lifted in the near future. <clears throat> Energy level critical. Returning to base for recharging. Well, surely the... Well... Surely there must be some other way to gain access. Force, for example. Hmm. And we resort to that. I have an idea. Were we to send a surge of energy through yonder control mechanism, it should prompt the system to restart, releasing the locks. As for a suitable energy source, a concentrated lightning shard might suffice. Happily, I seem to recall that they are known to form at points of stagnant ether around the con throughout the continent. You seem to recall. Are you honestly telling me that was in the records too? Ha! <laughs> I am. A report sent to the capital mentioned that lightning expected ether was prone to pooling in the, on the continent, resulting in surges that interfered with equipment. A minor detail, I grant you, but in my role as caretaker of the Crystal Tower, there was no such thing as too much a lag in knowledge. Besides, my studies help me f to feel connected to the source. To home. I must have explored this facility a thousand times in my mind. But to finally stand here with the two of you? Tis more exhilarating than I can well express. Now then, the lightning shard. If I may, if I, may I suggest we split up and search the beta quadrant. Oh, but be it... But beware of sprites. They are wont to manifest where the ether is stagnant. Now you're just showing off. Which makes me think we should make a contest of this. 
The first to return here with a shard wins. What do you say? Very, very well. It would be my honor to come third. <laughs> All right, let's go get a, let's go find us a shard. I'm out of the mob, but. I'm over. I just ran you over. Wait for it to load. Come on, we've got a contest to win. God, I hate this veritable clusterfuck of a maze. But at least we're overpowered for everything in here. Except for what we're about to... You good? Bravo! That was quite a show, adventurer. Why, the spectacle proved so enthralling that all thoughts of the prize slipped from my mind. I appear to have forfeited our little race. Congratulations! The lightning shard is yours. What? No dramatic entrance? You've changed. <laughs> ugh, you rem ugh, you remember that? In my defense, I was caught up in the moment. It isn't every day you meet an honest-to-God's hero, after all. Well, the contest continues, so you had better ha hurry back. Ah, but one last thing. Thank you, Chris, for bringing me here. It's a bromance. Might as well help people out. Well, the rest of them suffer seizures. Get in, kitten.
Okay. I wish this mob would politely fuck off. Because we can't see shit. There we go. It appears Alice had no luck, so victory is yours. Congratulations. Now then, may I have the shard? <sighs> what is it that makes you so much hot better at finding things? What do you have that I don't? That is a question I too have asked myself on numerous occasions. I suspect we could both learn a great deal from Chris. And not only about the secrets of adventuring. But come, we should attend to our mission. You'll... Yeah. Excellent. The system responded exactly as intended. We now have access to the habisphere. Only one obstacle remains. The security systems within. Should they be triggered, they could make life rather difficult for us. In light of which, pray leave the rest to me. If I am right, my royal blood should allow me to venture in unmolested. Assuming this place works like the Crystal Tower, yes. But if it doesn't, you'll be on your own. I want you to promise us that you'll get out at the first sign of trouble. I promise. Wish me luck. Well, nothing for it but to sit tight. <sighs> Remember when we first got to this place? I'm sure this Owen fellow was very learned, but iconic corruption and overview sounds like a studium thesis. We all had to write one. Lest you wonder, mine was about the combat applications of ether. I'm nothing if not practical. Alphino's was more philosophical, of course. Political, dare I say it. He chose to write a lengthy disclosure on our nation's duty to the world. A controversial subject, to say the least. He asserted that Shalian's knowledge should... He asserted that Shalian's knowledge should rightly be used to protect all life on the Saw, in direct opposition to the country's cherished policy of non-intervention. Being a leading member of the Forum, our father was... not happy. At the time, of course, Alphino was utterly convinced of his views and would cheerfully argue to the death with anyone who saw things differently. By which I mean the rows were long. To be fair to him, though, he since learned to be a little more open-minded. But deep down, he still holds that, holds fast to that one belief. And I admire him for it. I should have liked to meet the young Alphino. For what it's worth, my thesis concerned the Alagan civilization as depicted in folklore. Oh, you're back. I didn't know you attended the studium. I didn't. A thesis was required to earn my Archon's mark. My peers at the Students of Baldessian convinced me to write one with the promise of unfettered access to forbidden tomes. Though I considered it no more than a means to an end at the time, I will admit it was gratifying to have my efforts acknowledged. Good gods! An Archon's thesis. I shudder to imagine the work involved. But enough about that. Is this the fruit of your foray? Yes. Owen's Archive Node. It was waiting for me in his chamber. 
If a copy of his report still survives, it would be stored in this device. Shall we find out? Initializing. Scanning for a registered user. User not found. To proceed as a guest, please complete biometric authentication. Bloop. Verifying. Authentic authentication complete. Guest identified as member of the royal family. I am at your most humble service, your highness. <laughs> it never ceases to amuse me. Tis but, a Tis but a pity the effect will not last forever. Doga and Une said as much when they granted me this gift. But until such time as it fades, I shall use it gratefully. Search archive for iconic corruption. Hmm. Searching. Boom. One item found. Iconic corruption. An overview. The report is locked by the author. Please state password. Well, go on then, your highness. Tell the nice node the password. <laughs> oh, come on, Alice. Don't start shit. The, uh... Right. Let's see. Glory be to a log. Nope. Long live Emperor Zande. Nope. <laughs> Password incorrect. Please try again. Confound it! Come now. Passwords are invariably short and simple. For instance... Password! <laughs> God, no! If this works... I'm going to... F the notion that the password could be something so inane would be laughable were it not dangerously stupid. Furthermore, your conduct in the presence of His Highness is grossly inappropriate. Know your place, handmaiden. <laughs> <laughs> what did that thing just call me? <laughs> I can't. I can't. <sighs> <laughs> oh, let's see. I'm going to say courage. Mm -hmm. Password incorrect. Again, be warned that any further inappropriate behavior in the presence of His Highness will not be tolerated. All right, that's it. I say we dismantle it and manually extract what we need. Now, now, let's not be too hasty. A single misstep and we risk losing the report altogether. I believe this may be a task for Sid and his colleagues. If anyone can coax Machina into cooperating, it is them. Come, let us bear the node back to the Rising Stones. <laughs> oh man <laughs> Poor I figured Uh I think I will take I'll take the money. I need the money. All right. 
we're going to take one more quick break, and we will be back with more. Until then, that's it for this episode of Cruise Next Sanctuary. Thank you all. Thank you to Arya Stormborn for joining us. <laughs> and thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the show. As always, if you're watching this on Twitch or live from PlayStation and you like this show, click the follow button. Be sure to turn on notifications so you're well informed. And feel free to subscribe to me for access to exclusive videos and live streams. Or even just throw some bits my way if you're feeling generous. If you're watching this on YouTube and you like this video, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel by clicking here and click the bell icon for notifications. Click here to watch more by me, click here to watch the next episode, and click here to watch the previous one.